Well, hello YouTube. Welcome back to the Bison Workshop. I'm Bob. And um, this is going to be a little short video to um, ask some of my subscribers what they think I should do. Um, as everybody knows, I'm working on a Big Bear uh, 2000 Yamaha Big Bear 400 Buckmaster 4x4. And um, I went and joined the Big Bear group on Facebook, and it's an awesome group. <clears throat> and it's a good place to get information, it's a good place to give information, and it's a good place to sell parts. Well, somebody posted on the Big Bear, and I'm not going to mention any names, but uh, this person posted that he had two Big Bears that he was parting out. Well, I needed some parts for, for mine. I needed a tank, I needed a drive shaft, and it started out as just the drive shaft with the yokes on it for my front drive uh, drive shaft. Uh, I was supposed to get the yokes that goes on this and the yoke that's on the other side that goes to the motor and the yoke that goes to the front differential. This is what he sends me. I paid him $100 for this and all the yokes that went to it. Every single one of them from the motor to the differential. He sends me a message and says, is this what you wanted? Well, he knew. We were done discussed what, we, what I was getting and he was just playing pure dumb. And uh, so this was already put in the mail. He says, well, oh, my girlfriend put it, uh, went to send it, and she only sent this. So I got this. Now I paid $100 for the whole set. I didn't get the whole thing. I just got the drive shaft, it, and that was it. And it don't even look like it ever had universal joints on it or uh, yokes, because the, them threads all or them uh, splines are all rusty. There was nothing on that. Well, anyway, that's beside the point. So he, he sends me that, and ever since then, all he's done is made excuses why he can't ship. And the first one was, now I'm waiting on the, uh, the uh, universals, I mean the, uh, yeah, the universal joints, and four yokes to finish this set. Can't just hook this up. You gotta have the whole thing. So, um, he says, well, I'll get it out tomorrow. Well, tomorrow has never come. And that was two weeks ago. And then the next day I asked him if he shipped. He says, no, I haven't got it out yet because, uh, I got to fix my, I had to fix my girlfriend's razor so we could ride tonight. That was more important than filling his obligations to his customers. Well, then, I, the next day I was out in the shop and I seen a bunch of other stuff that I needed to get and I thought, well, maybe I better ask him to just go and you know, see what he wants for the rest of the parts that I needed, which was the gas tank and the um, speedometer, the speedometer cable, the part that goes in the back of the motor that the speedometer cable goes into that makes it work, and uh, one lug nut, and the rest of this drive shaft. Well, he told me what he wanted for the rest of it. I'd already paid for the the rest of the drive shaft and I ended up paying him 
$198. It was 100 then it was 48 and then it was 50 Well, like I said, that's been two weeks ago. He will not ship my parts. All right, the next excuse, <laughs> get this. <laughs> the next excuse was, no, I didn't get it shipped out because I was drunk. Anybody ever heard such shit? Drinking was more important than to honor his word and fill his obligations to me. In the meanwhile, I'm sitting here waiting for parts. I can't put them parts on if I don't have them. So, then he tells me, well, he told me that he, his drive shaft broke on his van and he had to buy a new drive shaft. And that took a couple of days. So, then the drunk excuse came up. All right, now he's got a death in the family. I don't believe him, but here's what I'm trying to find out. I'm trying to find out what I can do. Now, here's how it went down. When I ordered the first one, he didn't have PayPal. He had the move, or whatever it is, however you pronounce it, B-E-N-M-O, or something like that, and I've never heard of it. Well, my son does have it. So what I did was I PayPal'd my son the first hundred dollars for the drive shaft and all four yokes and two universal joints, which I only got this. Then my son turned around and paid him with the move on his phone. Well, that's how I had to pay him. And I didn't have a problem with paying him like that, but the, the main thing I had a problem with was if something happens, I know nothing about this BMU or whatever it's called. And obviously now I know that you can't even get your money back from them. So right now, this year I can buy online and I did buy another one online for 40 some dollars. It was $40. And he didn't send all of it. So that leaves him with owing me $158. Because I'm not paying him $100 for something I can get for $40. And uh, so now I don't have PayPal as a backup to get my money back. My son sends Ben Moo um, uh, to try to open a case, sent them a message to try to open a case, and they said, there ain't nothing we can do for you. Well, this is my last resort. Short of going to his house, which I know where he lives, short of going to his house and, and taking matters in my own hands, there's nothing I can do, and I'm not doing that. I'm not wasting gas to go clear to Louisiana to get less in parts than I would have in gas. So, and believe me, he wouldn't want that anyway because uh, at this point, I'm ready to dig a hole. But anyway, um, I don't know if you can call the police on this because it's online. Uh, if anybody knows what I can do to get this guy to send me my, my, either my money or send me the parts that I paid for, uh, please let me know what I can do. Um, I, don't, I don't think you can call the police because it's an online thing. There, there is no regulations on, online. There's, there's nothing set in place to force people unseen to do what they say they're going to do. You can pretty much get away with murder on the internet, and I don't, I don't understand why that is. What they do on the internet should be exactly the same as if he just came to my house and stole my money, because that's basically what he did. 
he just didn't get have to enter my house. So, uh, I don't know what to do to get my money back. And believe me, I learned a valuable lesson. If anything comes out of this, or if nothing comes out of this except for one thing, that would be that I learned not to deal with people like that. Well, since then, we've got him kicked off of the Big Bear group because then he started cussing the Big Bear group. Uh, so he got banned from it. And I have no way of making this guy give me give me my money or my parts. So if anybody has any ideas or leads as to what I can do to make this guy send me my parts, uh, please let me know. Um, and I feel stupid. And that's what pisses me off the most is that I feel stupid because I trusted this guy and, and this is where it got me. So if anybody knows how to go about this legally and uh, make this guy send me my parts or my money, it would be greatly appreciated if somebody could tell me how to do this. I, I don't know what to do. Um, I'm getting pissed. Every time I call or every time I send him a message on Facebook, he's got an, a long, long excuse as to why he didn't. And when he come up with the one excuse, I was drunk. He's spending my money to get drunk on, but he can't send me my parts. Uh, oh, that makes me want to... Mm, that makes me want to get real. And, and I'm about ready to get real with this guy. So, anyway, thank you guys for listening. And I hope that somebody's got an idea of what I can do. Uh, something's got to be done. I, I hate for this to be a $198 uh, mistake that I'm going to lose my money or parts or whatever. Uh, I don't think he's he has any intentions of sending me anything. Uh, in fact... I don't think he's got the damn yokes because this year he said he took this off of a bike and if he took this off of a bike I mean you can look at those splines there there was never nothing on that this has been laying around somewhere for a while by itself and there wasn't no uh, yokes on that I mean, I can tell if a yoke's been sliding on, on that or, or moving on it. And he didn't even slide anything off of this. Yeah, this thing ain't had nothing on it in a long time. So, anyway, you guys let me know. I'm not going to leave this up very long. I'm just going to leave it up long enough for to get the right... Uh, comment to let me know how to do this thank you for watching if you haven't already subscribed please do subscribe hit that bell if you want to get any notifications of any of the videos that i put up and i've got a 512 of them that you can watch any one of them um, don't forget to like share comment you guys have a good one later